All right, everyone. So we reported probably, a, I don't know, two or three weeks ago about former NBA referee Bill Spooner and his what he said about Chris Paul. So we're going to read the quote of what he said. I get asked all the time, who are some of the tough guys, some of the bad guys? And when I tell them that Chris Paul and my 32 years in the league was one of the biggest assholes I ever dealt with, they say, not Rashid Wallace? Nope, nothing like Paul. And they are like, oh, he seems like such a nice guy. And I say, yeah, he's a great image cultivator. So, I mean, that, I mean, that's about as, I mean, that's just calling a guy out. That's not just saying, hey, he's kind of a dick on the floor. It's like, yeah, he's a dick on the floor and he cultivates his image off the floor to not be like he is on the floor. So Chris Paul responded to this on the Pat McAfee show. Here's what he had to say. Hey, how about that ref that said he hates you? What's that all about? Man. That I, I, hold on. Listen. As I was talking about you, because like business-wise, I like look at you and I'm like, Chris is able to do this and this and this. You know, you know what's You're an inspiration. I want you to know. Inspiration to me, though, the way you handle your business. Man, I Just appreciate like the you. bubble thing that happened with you and Bob kind of piecing that together. Like, as a player, I want to let you know, I look at you as like a very inspirational business person. Yeah. So whenever I, I hear that some ref comes out and goes, Chris Paul is a piece of shit. Yeah, you know what? I do not love that. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, listen. It's probably a lot more to feel like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, but that ref, uh, I had to look him up when he said, what was his name? We don't know. Yeah, I had to look know. him You're up. But he, he was in the league for a long time, and you probably can guess who one of his homeboys is. Oh, oh yeah, Scotty. But it was funny. Um, he was probably mad that I didn't put him in that last State Farm commercial. <laughs> the one with the referee. That probably yeah. was the case. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. I got yeah. that State Farm commercial with the referee, Yeah. and he, he probably wanted to be in it. No, but you uh, work the refs a little bit? All the time. Yeah. All the time. And hold on. That's you and Scott Foster, right? Every time he refs your game, you don't win. <laughs> you said it. No, no. <laughs> Scott <laughs> says it. It worked the coaches, too. I mean, Steve Kerr, you, Steve Kerr thinks that you think he's hilarious, and unfortunately, <laughs> you don't think he's hilarious. <laughs> if you recall that video of him walking off, but you were with the Rockets still, right? Yeah. And Steve Kerr, like, made a joke, and he did the... Oh, yeah, laugh. you did the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So good. That's maybe the greatest so give. <laughs> that, was, that was in a playoff game. I think a lot of things with the refs too is like obviously I know the game. I'm on the competition committee, right? So knowing the rules and of course you can say smart things a lot of times. You know what I mean? Sometimes they say stuff back, but yeah, that was that was interesting that he said that. We, he don't he don't never see me though. Out of nowhere too. <laughs> he don't never see me though. Now obviously we don't know Chris Paul. You know, only people that around him and know him as a person can really speak to this but it's funny because even in this clip you know he doesn't um you know it's not that he's saying oh yeah i agree with it but he's like yeah you know i work the refs you know he's just kind of saying like look i'm the point guard i'm the leader of this team i try to get every advantage i can for my team and you know he's continuing his beef with scott foster saying yeah this guy's with buddies with scott foster and then they bring up in the segment about you know you lose every game that scott foster reps all of those different things but I just thought this was a uh, pretty funny quote or funny clip because I didn't feel like there was a ton of denying from Chris Paul. Like, obviously, he's saying, yeah, I'm not an asshole. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not out there just cultivating my image. But he is kind of like, you know, I, I work the rest. You know, that's just how I go. That's how I do it. And if you look around the league in the NBA, you know, there are so many guys now who are working the I mean, we're in the finals right now. You have two players who just are constantly working the reps. And one's worse than the other. Lucas far worse than Tatum. But they both do it. They both are, you know, every play you look at them and they're saying something to the ref. And maybe, like I said, I don't really know what the difference between, like, do they think that that's bad versus, like, does Chris Paul meet another criteria? Is he worse than that? I don't necessarily know. But, um, I mean, just look at Lucas' facial expressions. You don't even, you don't even have to, you, you don't even have to go out there and say, like, uh, you know, go look up this game where Luca was bad with the reps. It's like, look up any game that Lucas played in his career, you're going to see him chirping the reps. I just don't know, is there a difference between what Chris Paul does and what they do? I don't know. I'd love to hear more from these reps about, like, wh what makes it, like, is it complaining about calls? Is it something he says? Like, what makes this guy, this former ref, Bill Spooner, call him an asshole? And if it's just because, oh, well, he doesn't like my buddy, Scott Foster, then that's kind of, you know, pretty pretty shady stuff and kind of a ridiculous thing to say somebody is an asshole over that. But um, I don't know. I just thought this was, this is such a weird story, one you don't expect, but we're bringing it to you. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.